Over the past several months, many of you have asked for a piece on Wetsons. I'd never heard of Wetsons before about a year ago, as we didn't have one anywhere near me. As I have researched, there are so many things about this chain that I would have totally fallen in love with. Stay tuned to find out what happened to Wetsons. Hi gang, this is Troy, and welcome back to Restaurant Rewind. If you like restaurant history, be sure to subscribe and click the bell to set your notifications so you don't miss any of this juicy goodness. And share with a friend. This story begins like so many others we've featured on this channel. So many chains owe their existence, no matter how short, to the San Bernardino McDonald's in California. The McDonald brothers were quite proud of the remarkable speedy system they had developed, and it got quite a bit of attention, drawing potential restaurateurs from all over the country, many who would go back and attempt to recreate the system in their own neck of the woods. While on a road trip, Herb Weddinson stopped by the McDonald's Brothers Hamburger Drive-In in San Bernardino, California. Having grown up working in his father Carl's restaurants, Herb was drawn to this new and unique style of what would later become known as a fast food restaurant. Upon arriving home from the military, Herb Weddinson began scouting locations in Long Island for the first of his hamburger restaurants. Herb thought the Levittown area of Long Island shared a similar post-war demographic to that of San Bernardino. He found a closed Mayflower coffee and donut shop and, along with his younger brother Errol, opened the first Wetsons in 1959. Herb was 21 and Errol just 18, but working at their father's restaurants gave them an edge. Even the building resembled a McDonald's. Instead of the golden arches, Wetsons used orange circles on the sides of their building. They started with a very simple menu, but later added things like chicken as some of the other major chains began to do the same. Being a burger joint, even at 15 cents, the Wettisons knew the burgers had to be good. They purchased their meat from Schlosser and Weingartens, a respected local meat company in New York. With fat content between 18 and 22 percent, Carl Wettinson said, There's sufficient fat to make a juicy burger, but not enough to ooze out onto the griddle and cause shrinkage. The Wettinson brothers used the same repeatable process that the McDonald's brothers used and were able to generate enough success to grow Wetsons into a 72-unit chain across New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut. While there isn't a ton of information out there about the Wettisons family or the Wetsons chain, one thing I did find interesting was when searching, two little tidbits kept popping up that seemed to have little to do with the Wetsons chain. As it turns out, Herb Wetson was an avid racer and car collector. And as a car guy myself, it really got my attention. Herb raced quite a bit, and even while building the Wetsons chain. Errol Wetson, the younger brother, was once married to model Margot Hemingway. Their short relationship made the news more often than their burger success. The stories referred to Errol by many names. Hamburger Tycoon, Hamburger Magnate, Hamburger Heir, the head of a hamburger empire, all of which I thought were interesting for a 70-unit hamburger chain. Perhaps they were including the success of Father Carl Wetson. Wetson seemed to be pretty stable through most of the 60s, but things started to take a turn for the worse when McDonald's and Burger King entered the New York metropolitan area market in the late 60s and early 70s. This seems to be a common turning point for most chains that spun off of the McDonald's Brothers system. McDonald's was able to build a powerful advertising machine that others just couldn't compete with, mostly because of the enormous amount of money it took to advertise at that level. Eventually, business declined and led to Wetson's merging with Nathan's Famous in 1975 and closing the remaining 29 Wetson's locations. This also meant the end of the Wetson's brand. But as of 2018, the Wetson's trademark is still active and owned by National Food Brands Marketing Incorporated. Check out the resources in the description for more info. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with a friend. Love you guys. Thanks for watching Restaurant Rewind.